So, I have an announcement. Yeah, here we go. Well, what's up guys, it's Jay. Welcome to Flashpoint. We're all about credit, credit cards, and other finance tips. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Also, be sure to smash that like button for me for that YouTube algorithm. It'll really help out the channel. I really appreciate it. Uh, thank you. Also, comment down below with your thoughts on this, okay? I'd been kind of sitting on this decision for quite some time. I wanted to get this uh, particular card last year, um, but decided not to. Um, and seeing how this year is going to be uh, quite a bit of traveling going on, uh, I felt like it was going to be the best for my situation. More than likely, moving forward, I was going to be doing a little bit more traveling than most uh, years prior. So um, I'm going to go ahead and just let you guys uh, see the card that I applied for, okay? And that card is the American Express Platinum card. Oh, wait. That's a green card. Crap. They sent me the wrong one. What the hell? Hold on. Wait, I can fix it. I can fix it. Wait one second, okay? The American Express Platinum. And there it is, guys. So, as you guys can see, the American Express Platinum version that I applied for is the Charles Schwab version, okay? So I've gone ahead and I've taped off everything except for my first name, so it's right there. Um, now, the reason why I applied for this card, you know, what made me want to actually go ahead and pull the trigger on this application. Now, uh, as you guys know, I'm also a card member of the Schwab Investor Card. And I'll leave that link up here for that video on that review. Um, you guys know that I definitely feel like there's more value to be had in terms of investing rather than just, you know, solely getting sign up bonuses for travel. I definitely think that there's a lot of value there as well but if there's a card that can provide a little bit of uh, you know just a little bit of extra money that you can throw into an account and use it towards investing um, I think that's definitely a great thing especially if it's coming from your everyday spending okay now the great thing about this Schwab Platinum card is that it does allow you to cash out your membership reward points no matter if they're coming from the green card or from the platinum card. But if I had uh, the gold card as well or even the blue business plus card, um, that would definitely allow me to you know, transfer all of my membership reward points to Schwab at a 1.25 cent uh, you know, ratio. So I think that is definitely a great thing. Now, Schwab doesn't have the best sign up offer, so, um, and that's, you know, kind of the standard with them. Um, they're not gonna, you know, have those increased sign up offers to try to entice you to, um, you know, apply for this card like American Express would with their, you know, with their normal uh, American Express Platinum card. The sign up bonus is 60,000 MR points after you spend 5,000 uh, in three months. And when you cash that out, it values at about $750 that you can use towards you know, towards investing, you can cash it out into your Schwab brokerage account or you can cash it out into your Schwab investor checking account as well. Now, I do have um, an IRA through Schwab now. I also have, you know, an investor checking account and I do have, obviously, I have my brokerage account through them. And so I felt like this was a good card just to add a little bit more money into my brokerage account. Um, I'm currently sitting on about 200,000 MR points and I'm not 100% yet if I want to use those for travel or if I want to use those, you know, to cash them out completely. I may not cash them out entirely just because I do want to get some benefits from those international flights that I can use for my membership reward points. This card does have a lot of great benefits to it, similar to, you know, the original Platinum card. So you're going to get five points for airfare and prepaid hotels. Um, you're also going to get uh, a lot of uh, protections. You're also going to get some other benefits in terms of lounge access. So you're going to have a variety of lounges that you have access to, three of them being Priority Pass, um, the Delta Sky Club, if you have a Delta flight, and the highly sought after Centurion Lounge. This is solely for American Express Platinum Card and Black Card holders. So the Centurion Card. So yeah, so I just have the Schwab, you know, just the regular old Schwab one, okay? Um, so I'm pretty excited about that. The look of the card is just fantastic. I love it. In terms of the 
feel of the card. So the numbers are on the back and the awesome thing about this is that the numbers are actually engraved. So um, it's pretty awesome. They're not raised up or anything. Like you can actually see that some, that you know it's been engraved into the card itself so that is pretty awesome and your name has been engraved as well okay so that's a pretty awesome card now um, I you know I had an issue with Amex just because their credits seem to be a little difficult to um, you know they seem to be a little difficult to use but another reason why I got this card is because I am going to be traveling quite a bit this year and moving forward I'm going to be doing much more flying than I used to so it just made sense to actually have a card that was going to gear, be geared towards airfare and then also give me those lounge perks that you know that anyone would want to enjoy while they're you know having to wait for a flight uh, gives you more incentive to get to the airport a little bit earlier and I just felt like it was just a, a good decision for me to make especially since I'm over 524 I wouldn't be able to apply for the uh, Chase Sapphire Reserve anyways because I have this Chase Sapphire Preferred and I'm only on year two of the Chase Sapphire Preferred so I have to wait another two years before I can actually apply for that card and I just don't necessarily think that Chase made the best decision by increasing the annual fee and not necessarily um, giving you quality benefits you know for increasing that annual fee with lift pink and then also with the DoorDash credits I definitely feel like they're completely irrelevant and they definitely don't match um, I, I feel like they're not even competing with this card to be quite honest so like I mentioned before, you're going to get a lot of the same benefits. So you're going to get that $200 Uber credit. You're also going to get that $200 airline fee credit for incidentals. Like if you need to, you know, upgrade your seat, I believe again, I'm not hundred percent sure, but, um, upgrade seat upgrades. If you want to, um, you know, purchase something on the flight or if you need to check your bags. Um, sometimes I've heard that it's actually been, you've been able to trigger it with very low cost uh, flights. Sometimes they'll apply that, um, you know, travel credit, that airline credit, you know, for that flight flight that you paid for. The other thing is you're going to get that $100 Saks Fifth credit. You're going to get $50 in the first uh, six months and then another $50 in the second six months. And then obviously you're going to get, you know, some status with car rental places. You're also going to get a couple things. You have access to a variety of perks, which I won't go completely into because I definitely want to make sure that I'm keeping this video as short as I possibly can. I'm extremely excited to actually have this card. The Schwab card specifically, um, I just feel like you know there's a certain prestige about this card in general but I feel like having that Schwab stamp also uh, kind of you know it has a certain look to it uh, over the other ones like Ameriprise or anything like that um, I feel like this one is definitely um, the best card to have in my opinion okay and so to add on to those perks you're also gonna get that global entry um, credit $100 uh, every four years but if you have authorized users you will just pay $175 for three additional authorized users and they're actually gonna get the same exact perks that you get so they'll be able to have access to that global entry credit more than likely they're not gonna get the credits that you get with uber Saks, and the airline fee credit but you're definitely gonna get the access to Centurion lounges you're also going to get uh, that $100 credit for the global entry, which is awesome, I think. Um, and so if you have three authorized users, um, they could split the cost of that $175 because it's just $175 flat for three additional cards. And um, yeah, so any spending that they do is going to go into your MR account and you could still use those points to transfer at a 1.25 ratio to Schwab and use it towards investing. So I definitely feel like this is a great card to have. And it definitely, if you add this card and you're looking to get into investing and you have no desire to use MR points for traveling or anything like that, I definitely recommend this card along with the green card. In my opinion, I feel like uh, if you're gonna do a lot of traveling, then you know these are definitely, um, you know, it's a good duo to have along with, uh, you know, maybe the Blue Business Plus. Some people might say, hey, you can add the gold card as well for groceries and dining, but I feel like this one would suffice for dining. It, your mileage may vary, but I definitely would recommend uh, getting the Schwab card for investing. And honestly, I didn't get it because uh, I wanted the points for traveling. I didn't get it because of the perks or anything. It just so happened that that happened to be the situation that I was going to be falling into here in the future. But it was mainly because I wanted to be able to move those points to Schwab so I could invest this money that I'm getting from these points 
you know, to make more money in the future. I mean, why wouldn't you? It's a smart setup or it's a smart strategy. I feel like um, it's probably one of the best features about this card. I I 100% think that it is probably the best out of all the Platinum cards, um, just in my opinion, just because of that one particular feature to be able to cash out your points um, to Schwab at 1.25 cents. Now, if you have the original Platinum card or any other Platinum card, if you wanted to cash out your points, um, I'm now I can't speak for the other uh, co-branded platinum cards okay but definitely for the business one and even for the uh, regular vanilla platinum card if you wanted to cash out your points you're only gonna get 0.6 cents per point so if you had a hundred thousand points you're only gonna get about six hundred dollars worth of value for that okay now I'm only getting 60,000 points with this card and I'm getting $750 worth of value from this card. Um, and then also in year one or just moving forward, in year one, $750 plus you add the credits that you get, you're looking at about thirteen dollars to $1,400 just depending on how you value those points, okay? Um, so yeah, guys, that's the big reveal. Um, I opened everything. I didn't want to really, you know, kind of bore you guys with the whole spiel of, uh, you get all this uh, stuff, you know. Um, the one thing I'm a little disappointed about is that American Express used to give you like this wooden either like business card holder or a phone holder, whatever you get. Um, they're no longer doing that, I believe as of last summer. And so I was a little bummed about that. Um, I kind of looked in here and it came into this little crappy little case thing right here. And so, yeah, guys, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below, what you guys think about this application. Uh, would you apply for this card? What do you think about the Schwab Platinum card in particular? Uh, just let me know down in the comments below. And if you guys would like to apply for any cards that, um, you know, you might be interested in, I'd really appreciate it. If you use the links down in the description, it would really help out the channel. I appreciate it. Now, the one thing I didn't go over is that you have to be a member of Schwab in order to get this card. So you have to sign up for an, uh, either an investor checking account or a brokerage account I definitely recommend signing up for the investor checking account because it's going to automatically enroll you into a brokerage account as well okay so that's the only way you can actually get this card um, you can't necessarily just log into American Express and look for the Schwab Platinum card you have to be a member of uh, Charles Schwab's brokerage in order to get this card and um, yeah that's basically how you get it guys and that's going to conclude today's video guys for more video updates hit that subscribe button if you found this information to be helpful and if you liked the video give the video a thumbs up i really appreciate it don't forget to share it with your friends so that they can know how to invest themselves without having to use their own money this is an awesome thing now obviously the card does come with a 550 dollars annual fee but it is still awesome okay um yeah so let me know down in the comments below don't forget to hit the bell notification so that way you guys can stay up to date for whenever I drop my next video. Be a good person, be safe, be smart, and remember, credit is your life. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace!